In this video, we'll be discussing the Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution allows us to model the probability of witnessing a certain number of events in a given time interval. So a good example of this is if we were to model the number of people, so the number of people on the y-axis, and we have time intervals on the x-axis. So let, let's say we have 8 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Then let's also create another one. Say we have 11 a.m. And let's say from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. we saw that three people entered the store. And from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. we saw that five people entered the store. So I'm going to just write on top of the bar plots three, five, and then from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., we saw that four people entered the store. And so what's the average number of people that enter, enter the store per hour? So we have the mean is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 4 divided by 3 is equal to 12 over 3, which is equal to 4. And so the average number of individuals that enter the store per hour, so per an interval of time, in our case it's hour, is 4. And so the symbol used for average or mean in the Poisson distribution is lambda. So we have lambda is equal to 4. And the Poisson distribution gives us the probability of witnessing a certain number of events, k number of events, given that the mean is 4. And so this probability is given by this formula right here. The probability of x is equal to k, that is us witnessing k number of people entering the store, is given by lambda raised to the k times e raised to the minus lambda over k factorial. And so this is the general equation. So suppose we wanted to find what's the probability of seeing four individuals given that the average is four. That's equal to the probability of x equaling four. And so everywhere that we see k in this equation here, we're going to swap it out with four. And everywhere that we see lambda, we're going to swap it out with four. And so we have four raised to the four times e raised to the minus 4 all over 4 factorial and this is equal to 0 0.19 approximately and this is roughly the probability and so if we were to make a plot where the x-axis is the number of, event of events so let's say 4 and then let's say we have 5, 10, and then on the y-axis we have the probability. And then I'm going to put 0 0.20, and so at 4 we have about 0.19, which is about 0 0.20, so I'm going to just put a dot right there. And so let's do this for a few other points. And so what if we wanted to know Okay, given that the average is 4, you'd expect there to be a low prob probability of witnessing something like 0, right? So let's put that into the equation. The probability that x is equal to 0 is equal to, and so everywhere that we have lambda, we have 4. That's the average. And then we want to see what's the probability of seeing 0. So where we see k, we're going to put 0. e raised to the minus 4. 0 factorial. This comes out to 0. Point, if you do the math, 0 0.0183. And so I'm going to just put on this graph so 0 0.01 would be right about here. And so I'm going to just put another dot where that is. And then so we're correct in thinking that it, we would have a low probability of seeing zero if the average is four. 
um, another value that we would think would have a low probability would be 10. So let's, if we were to compute the probability of seeing 10 events, given that the average is 4, once again we have the lambda, the average, being equal to 4, and then we put 10, so 4 raised to the 10, e raised to the minus 4, all over 10 factorial, and this comes out to 0 0.005. And so that's even lower than uh, the probability of witnessing zero events. So that's actually right here. And so this distribution, in fact, looks something like this. With the highest point being at around 4, being 4. The average, which you'd expect, right? If four people per hour enter a store, that's the average. Then the highest probability um, of, of the, the highest, so the number of individuals entering the store that has the highest probability is four. And if you, uh, when you move away from four, you know, whether on uh, being way less than four or way above four, the probability decreases. And so we can see that here from this plot. And so, two things I want to touch on is, so the mean of a Poisson distribution is equal to lambda. So what is the standard deviation? The standard deviation of a Poisson distribution is equal to the square root of lambda. This is actually a very interesting property and you'll see why. So suppose we have lambda is equal to 4 as we had in our example up here. And so I'm going to just quickly redraw this plot. So we have 5, 4, 10, 1, or 0. So this looks something like this. And the standard deviation of a Poisson distribution with lambda is equal to 4. So the mean is equal to lambda is equal to 4. The standard deviation is equal to the square root of lambda, which is equal to the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And so we have a mean of 4, and then we vary by 2 on either side. And so you can see that you know two standard deviations would put you at 0. Two standard deviations below, two standard devi deviations above would put you at around eight. And so, how does this how does this differ from a Poisson distribution where the mean is equal to sixteen? So we have the standard deviation is equal to the square root of lambda, which is equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. And so let's draw that distribution. And what this distribution looks like, it looks roughly normal, centered at, so centered at 16, so I'm going to put 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so 16 is right about here, so this distribution ends up looking something like this. Normally distributed around 16. And so notice our standard deviation is now 4. So two standard deviations to the left of 16 would be 8. Be right here. 8. And then two standard deviations to the right of 16 would put us at 24, right here. Notice that that's now 8 difference. So two standard deviations now 8 on either side, 8 units. Whereas when the lambda is 4, we have a standard deviation of 2, and two standard deviations is, is 4, away from 4. And so as your mean increases, your variance or your and your or your standard deviation which is the square root of the variance that increases as well and so this has been an introduction to the Poisson distribution thanks for watching